here. Today we're going to be playing a game called Noel the Mortal Fate. And this is another game created by Kanawo. So if you guys remember Blank Dream and Blight Dream, those were some pretty good games. So I figured we'd check out another one of their games. Just a note, usually whenever we play these games, they were translated. And they were translated by a person named VG Person. Literally. <laughs> That's the thing. This one is not translated by, by VG. This is... Uh, I believe it was like a company that like came in as like a producer or publisher or whatever so they were allowed to make like a translation of it from what I've seen so far they're not very good translations <laughs> they're not very good translations like okay they're okay like they definitely make sense it's just it doesn't make sense in the fact that the names are being thrown out there and then there's like miss there's typos there's uh, people being referenced in the third person, it, it's just, it's weird. <laughs> I don't know. So let's go ahead and go to a new game. Alright, so how to play, which has never been on a thing before. Also, this is a weird thing I noticed. It says play on smartphone and tablet. This is on phone? Okay. Sure. <laughs> Didn't know that. There we go. Presented by Kano. Oh, and that old Blank Dream looking art style. And by that, I mean just the way that the uh, characters were drawn. Alright. Finally, we're gonna announce the winner of the. La Place. La Place? I'm gonna say La Place. Piano Competition. It's a weird name. Okay, main character, Noel. Even though it just said MC a second ago, so hold on. Noel. Yeah, MC. Okay, sure. <laughs> As you know, the winner of this competition will be playing at the memorial ceremony for the city. We believe that the sound of piano is pure and has the power to repel evil. Okay, it's a weird dialogue start. The place will be blessed and protected for the next year. You can tell all those cliche stories later. I'm tired of waiting for the announcement. Okay, someone's pushy. Don't be so hasty. I'm sure you'll tell us the winner soon, Noel. Jillian, you're always so nonchalant. I envy you. Is that how you pronounce that? Nonchalant? I don't, I don't remember. Prestigious lady. Noel. Uh, Noel Cerchetti? Playing the piano at the memorial ceremony, every young person who lives in this city, La Place, dreams of it. It's their goal and the highest honor. And since both my parents are professional pianists, I, Noel Cerchetti, just gonna say it that way, must play at the ceremony. It's my duty. Sure. However, I wasn't worried, because I had been practicing so hard for today, and my performance was on a different level than the other players, it was perfect. Okay, not only does she seem prestigious, she seems like she's a little, uh, preppy, I guess? I don't know. She seems that way. Alright, the winner of the competition this year, and the honorable feature pianist is... Yes, I'm anxious, but that's not because I'm worried about the result. Okay, I have two things. There's two things wrong with this sentence. First of all, that's is capitalized. With the T in that's. Also, it really should be it's. But it's not because I'm worried about the result, but that's not because I'm really. Well, I guess that works too, but still. I don't know. But I'm going over what to say at the winner's interview as the featured pianist for the ceremony. So. Miss Jillian Littner, congratulations. What? Really? Oh, she's gonna be mad. I thought that must have been some kind of mistake. What? <laughs> okay. Well, we run into the first real typo. I thought that must have been some kind of mistake. All right, guys, come on. When you put this out there officially, like it's a big thing, especially if a comp if like a producing thing is gonna come at it and you know produce it. You'd think that, okay, you're gonna have good translations. Doesn't seem that way. Ooh, contest, contests venue, and it seems we're able to move around now. Oh yeah, I'm getting the things. There are beautiful flowers on the table. Why aren't there always? It's a piano for contests. It's slightly old, but more valuable than the one at home. Okay, yeah, that's already a thing. No, 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 I don't want to talk about the piano, I want the statue. Such so of an angel is placed on the stage. The sculpture is part of the heritage of the city. Hmm. Anything else to talk about? Like, these plants? I see that they're actual people that we need to talk to. 
but I would imagine we can talk to him when we want. Recently, a branch of a huge wait. Recently, a branch of a huge shipping com shipping company came to Laplace. It may be just a beginning, and if more corporations move here, the good old Laplace may have no choice but a change. I could just say no. It just doesn't sound right. Marrow, Marrow. Okay, I, I can't even talk tonight. Mayor Burroughs must be really busy, but he always attends these kind of events. I like a person who can cherish traditions and arts, yeah. Okay, don't really think you need to be yeah in that sense. It's quite a high level competition this year as well. This is a great tradition of a place. I'm sure everyone practiced really hard for this. Mmm, I wouldn't tell her that. Okay, we're currently promoting devil extermination. Okay. Not sure where that's going on with, and bad translations. Bad, not really bad translation, more like free bad structure. Even if you happen to know how to summon a devil, please never get involved with anything to do with them. Your desire can destroy your life. You're weird. Don't be so disappointed, miss. I thought your performance was the best. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess we're done talking with these folks, so let's talk with these folks. The winner is Jillian. I wasn't expecting her to win. I thought Noel gave the best performance. I thought so too in the beginning, but it must be a fair judgment since Mayor Burroughs is part of the judging panel. Yes, I guess you're right. If Mayor is involved, it must be some proper standard to decide on a winner. Hmm. Sounds a little fishy if you ask me. The place is a small old city. The Mafia families were sucking the life out of the city, but Mayor Burroughs handled them very well. He cleaned the city and rebuilt it. He's only 30-some 30, 30 years old, but he is truly a genius. That makes it sound like he was working with the Mafia. Wouldn't doubt it, there's a lot of actual cases like that. I heard there was a huge change in the judging. Maybe the award ceremony got delayed because of that. Ooh. I see. I heard a bomber has been active in the downtown area lately. However, that's not my concern since I live in the upper class area. Okay, every time it says that's, do you have to capitalize that's? Because that's not necessary. And I think Mayor Burroughs will deal with the bomber very soon. Okay. Seems Jillian's talking to someone. Well, let's talk to her. Just butt in. No, I'm not. My family's not well off either, so... If I'm not mistaken, you're from downtown, aren't you, Jillian? As you said, many people who study music come from rich families, but that has nothing to do with their performance. You should be more confident as a pianist. Oh, Noel. Oh, your friend is here. Well, then I'll excuse myself. Congratulations, Julian. It was a wonderful performance. Just tell she's not happy. <laughs> Thank you. I called my mom a little early and she said, I'll bake a cake to celebrate. Poor, diligent Julian Littner. Well then. But I'm not sure if I deserve this. Everyone played very well and I thought Noel would win for sure. You are talking to Noel. You don't have to speak her name. You know, even at the piano class, I'm just going to say you. You are on a different level than the other students, and your parents are professional pianists as well. At least you put a you in there, finally. So I secretly admired you, and I wanted to be just like you, you know? I'm the poorest student in class, and I don't even know the proper manners at a place like this. I was supposed to be the featured pianist for the ceremony in the end, but that's because I practiced with Noel every day. Oh, so what? Huh? Yep. She's pissed. So, you want to ask me how I feel right now? Then laugh at me, don't you? A daughter of the Circadi family who disgraced her family in public. You must be feeling good looking down on me. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean it like that. Excuse me. The hell was that about? I was heartless. I knew that. Jillian always followed me around, and she praised my performance. Our piano class was strict and intense. Every student looked at the others as rivals. But Jillian was different. She was my only friend in the class. But I couldn't be the featured pianist. I was crushed and jealous, and I took it out on Jillian. Jillian always told me how wonderful my playing is, but when she won, I was... I was just frustrated and mad at the wrong person. But I can't help it. I didn't accomplish what I worked so hard for. I don't know how I can keep playing piano from now on. Since I disgraced her noble family's name, how can I live as a Cicchetti? 
That's still a weird name if you ask me. <laughs> Hello, miss. You're Mayor Burroughs. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I saw you run off from the hall and I was a little concerned about you. Russell Burroughs. Miss Noelle Sacchetti, I'm not a pianist, but somehow I understand how you're feeling right now. The pride of your family and the rivalry between, your fr between friends, you must have a lot on your shoulder. A lot of dots with this woman. Are you upset about losing? Of course. I didn't want to lose to her and I wanted to be the future pianist. Are you close to Jillian? It's been a while since I first met her in piano class. I see. She is your rival and best friend at the same time. You must be really frustrated. But it seemed your performance was highly recognized as well as Jillian's. I'm sure you could try again and win to become the featured pianist next year, you know? It doesn't mean anything to me. I just wanted to prove that I'm the best pianist. No one is better than me, including Jillian. Being praised as a second place winner is worthless. It doesn't mean anything to me if I'm not the best pianist right at this moment. I was always, no matter what, I have to be the best of the best. I've been brought up like that all my life. All right. More dots. Excuse me. If you can't really get over it. What? If it's that important to you to be the feature pianist this year, if you desire from the bottom of your heart and you would do anything to win, tonight at 2 a.m., you should come to the abandoned building by the port alone. Okay, that just sounds suspicious. What are you talking about? There was actually some interference in this year's competition, and there was a huge change in the score, but... Well, I'll tell you more about it if you come tonight. Please think carefully if you really want to know what happened. However, it's possible your life will change drastically tonight. My... life? That's not weird at all. And... file one. Cause saving! <laughs> Okay, there was a huge change in the score, and my life may change after I find out what happened today. He told me to come to the abandoned building in the middle of the night. I wonder what is the big secret he wants to tell me. That means, I'm just curious, what if Jillian wasn't supposed to win? Maybe I was? Is this just my wishful thinking? I felt something suspicious is going on, but at the same time I was hoping something would turn up. Why even have the blank slots? I was laying awake in my bed waiting for my... For the time to pass. It's almost time. I had to sneak out of our mansion to go see the mayor. Mission open. Hint. What is a mission? Wow. Okay, thanks. Mission is your goal, and it will appear at the top right corner of the screen. It shows you what Noel has to accomplish right at this moment. If you're lost, just look at the top right corner of your screen to see your current goals and figure out what to do. Well, yeah, you just said that. Why do you have to repeat yourself? Okay, I'm just going to pause just to note, even though we're going to have a freaking grandfather clock in the background. <laughs> I'm just going to note what I'm thinking so far. And so far, it's just the beginning. Like, this has, what, seven episodes, I think? So it has like seven different episodes of the story. So there's probably plenty to go for. And I don't know. I, I imagine it's just like a a meh opening, you know? It's just flavor, I guess, to add in as an opening, and you know, there's way more to go for. So I guess there's that. I'm afraid of sleeping. I'm afraid of sleeping in the dark, so I turn on this lamp when I go to bed, and that is cut off the screen. I'm usually sleep around this time. If I go to back to bed, I would fall asleep less than three minutes, but I can't fall asleep yet tonight. A laptop that my parents bought me. It's rarely used. <laughs> what the hell? I'd use that all the time. Okay, you have a double bit of a room. I enjoy reading as well, but if I have time to spare for reading, I'd rather spend time on practice. I didn't read any popular comics, and I dedicated myself to playing the piano, but why? Probably because your parents really wanted you to, and it was your parents' profession, so, you know, you just followed it. I haven't changed in my pajamas yet, I can, I can just go out like this. I've never been outside at this hour, I'm not sure I should be doing this. Going a little rogue, aren't you? This room is soundproofed. People don't hear much when I practice the piano. Can we practice it? I guess not. A small chest. It contains some stationery, some other junk, and a disaster kit. 
Wait, hold on. It's illegal to summon demons and make deals with them. Your life is precious. Protect yourself. Okay. Second floor corridor. It's dark, but I shouldn't turn on the lights. It may wake up my parents. I wonder if there is anything in my room that I can use to light my way. Mission updated. Find a light. Well, you did say a lantern. Well, yeah, you said a lantern. What, do you have, like, a flashlight? Wait, disaster kit. Hold on. Look for clues. Obtained a flashlight. Ooh, that's the same sound that was used in Blank Dream. Now I can use this to sneak out of the mansion without any problems. Let's go. Breakthrough. Completed a clear bonus plus one. When you complete a mission, you'll get P. That's weird. Try to complete a tricky mission smoothly to receive additional bonus points. The details of P is unknown, but it could be useful <laughs> down the road if you keep collecting them. That's weird. Okay. Escape from the house. Actually, they, wait, what? Actually, these are artificial fires, so there's no need to water them. Okay, same difference. The night light is faintly lighting the hallway. Is there like a thing if I try to escape? Is there like some... Oops. Is there like an obstacle I have to deal, deal with? I'm not scared. My parents' bedroom is ahead. There's no reason to go near it. Okay, this is Noelle's room. What's this? Let's leave the doors. I should avoid making too much noise anyways. Okay, same. I don't have any business this way. Alright, same. I don't have any business this way. A beautiful flower is placed in the darkness. Somehow that always gives me the creeps. Okay. Guess out we go. This isn't creepy at all. I'm enjoy I enjoy having a cup of tea here when it's nice out. Now I remember that only my father and a few servants have the key to the gate. Somehow I need a way out without going through the gate. It scared me. A uh, crow. It feels like a bad omen. Eh, didn't scare me any. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. If I move these wooden boxes, I can create steps and climb on top of the wall. Let's try it. Sounds like a freaking register. Alright, now I can manage to climb up there. I made some noise. I should hurry up. Mayor Burrows me to come to the abandoned... Okay. There we go. You left out a little context. He asked you to come to the abandoned building in the middle of the night. I wonder what is this big secret he wants to tell me. Why was there a check mark back there a second ago? But if there's any chance I can get to be the first, I have to take it no matter what. Breakthrough. Alright. No mistakes bonus. Well, I mean, there's not really mistakes I can make right now. I still think this is a bad idea. I feel like somebody's dabbling in uh, some devil stuff because even men it, it's mentioned everywhere about you know there being uh, devil summoning. You're here, Miss Noel. I knew you would come. Oh. Please don't worry. I'm Mayor Barrow's secretary. S Sabilla Becker. Sabilla. Alright, that's weird names. The mayor had a prior business appointment, so I came here to see you instead. Mayor's secretary, Sabilla Becker. Oh, I see. Well, why did you want to see me? Miss Noel, I want to tell you something, but this must remain off the record. You could say this is a secret. Citadel. <laughs> Alright. Huh? 
this Laplace city isn't a metropolis. Until a few years ago, I mean, until a few years back, the Mafia played this city. And I think you remember that the mayor cleaned the city at once. But people and their money still move out to the central city. The place has mountains and sea, but it's still a small and weak city. I can't talk. Um, why are you telling me this? Recently, a shipping company expanded their business in the place. The company is called Stella Stage, and in fact, their expansion in the city has had a huge impact. It's like a big wave that's hitting the small city. Miss Noel, you lost the piano competition earlier today. Even that result was affected by Stella Stage. What? The piano competition is a tradition of the city. Stella Stage sponsored the event as well. They provided a very generous amount of money and suddenly became a VIP sponsor. I assume that's a good thing. Yes, it was, but things aren't so nice and simple. Miss Noel, please try to imagine this. If Stella Stage is connected to one of the competitors, what if Stella Stage pushed for a specific pianist and that person was automatically chosen as the winner. What? Many people praise your performance more than the other contestants. The judges' meeting took a long time and there was a change in the score. Maybe something was going on there. Are you suggesting that Jillian cheated? No, I don't think she's capable of doing that. It's impossible. Miss Jillian either has some kind of connection or Stella Stage just simply liked her. We don't know the truth, however, Miss Jillian won the competition because Stella Stage pushed for her. That's the fact. Ooh. I'm not good at expressing myself, so you may not be able to tell, but the mayor and I were disappointed with the result of the competition. Miss Noel, you should have been chosen to be the future pianist, and even now I think you should be the one. They're a cruel, they're a cruel organization that bribes people and consumes this city. You're one of their victims. Now, I'll finally tell you about the deal. Miss Noel, let's say there's a button right here, and if you push that button, the president of Stella Stage dies. Of course, no one would find out that you pushed it. If no one knows, then no one will blame you. Miss Noel, do you push the button? What? Because such a button exists, right here. There is such a magic button. No way, are you saying... Wow. Oh god. Yes, I'm talking about Devil Zero. <laughs> Can you guys type correctly, please? <laughs> oh my god. I know a way to summon a great devil. Lousy devils come to you when you have some desire and they try to tempt you. But on the other hand, a great devil would appear when you perform a proper summoning. And there are supernatural beings who make your wish come true. If, if you wish, you can make a deal with a devil right now. And you can punish the corporation that in interfered in the competition. Hold on a second. Make a deal with the devil is a crime. I was taught not to do it. Yes, you're right. This is illegal and many countries prohibit it. Wait, so this is like a common thing? This is like a thing people can just do? It's like an activity? To summon devils? That's weird. Devils or demons, whatever you want to call them. But at the same time, this is the only and most certain way to make your wish come true, Miss Noel. There is no one here to watch you do it, so you have nothing to worry about. Please forget about Jillian for now. We truly wanted you to be the future pianist. That would be the right, proper, and a healthy outcome. That's, but, this is the mayor's wish as well. Oh god, heartbeat. I would even say this is what the citizens want. Miss Noel, I want you to brace yourself and make a deal with the devil to protect Laplace's great tradition, the piano. I... Please, make your decision. I'm sure Miss Jillian also wanted a fair outcome. Miss Noel, it's your duty as the rifle feature pianist. If you try to run away from this, we would consider it as you declining to be the feature pianist. I... You have great chances to win next year, I'm sure of it, Miss Noel. However, the fact you lost this year will never go away. You were supposed to win. Are you sure you're fine with this? Oh god. That's right. I have dedicated myself to playing the piano until today. I can't let all my efforts go to waste just because someone tried to play dirty. I was the best. I do deserve to be the future pianist. My god. Envious as hell. Oh god. <laughs> Made a deal with the devil because it didn't get to be a future pianist. It wasn't the best. Ish. That's selfish. I'll do it. I'll make a deal with the devil and I'll be the future pianist.
Oh boy. This isn't going to go well. Oh god, they even have the freaking deal. Is the magic circle done properly? Yes, it looks like everything is in order. All you have to do is stand in the center of the magic circle and put a few drops of this in the center. Obtain crow's blood. What is this? It's crow's blood. Blood? You took it from a crow? I think that said form. Or summon a demon, after all. It's disgusting. Are you sure if I do this I could be the feature, the feature pianist? Yes, there's nothing to be afraid of. Still, the stage is wrong. They're the ones that ruined the competition. You're doing the right thing. Right here, right now. We have the real award ceremony if you like. Oh, God. <laughs> Why is this a thing? All you have to do is stand in the center of the magic circle and pour a few drops of crow of blood in the center. Still, the stage is wrong. They're the ones who. Da -da 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 -da. Please just relax. Well, I have to do it. Go. Wait, is that a chest? No, that's just a thing. Oh god, this is not gonna go well. Game's about summoning demons. Uh, that was loud. Hi. Double ca Wait. Double Karen, I'm here at your request. This is a devil? <laughs> this leg this legitimate contractor is quite young. Girl, what is your wish? Red eyed devil Karen or Karen. Where is it Karen? Uh well you have summoned me because you have a wish. You have to say it out loud. Stella shipping company, Stella Stage. The president. K Please kill the president. I see. You wish to murder someone. Then answer me. Why do you want to kill the president of Stella Stage? What? Answer me. That's... I want to be in a competition to be clean and fair. Huh? <laughs> Lame reason. Really? Is that all? Yes. You're lying. That's just an excuse. There's only one reason when people want to murder someone. You'll gain something by killing that person. Come on, tell me the truth. What is your darkest desire? If you can tell me properly, I'll make a deal with you. What is he saying? This is... Is this a devil? Jeez, this is weird. If you... If you only have a lame excuse, you should go home now. You're not qualified to make a deal with me. I say some otherwise I can't make a deal. There's no way to turn back now. That's... That's... What is it? I just... Want to be the future pianist? Of course. Huh? Because you want to be the future pianist, so you want a devil to kill someone? Wow, that's fantastic, a little. That's fantastic, a little. Girl. Are you sure? Your wish is way too tiny. How, how trifle and silly. In a way, I should praise you. Well, you're still young, but you don't care about the how as long as you get what you want. You don't make sense at all. Anyway, I told you my desire. Make my wish come true. Alright, but I'll ask you again for the last time. Is this what you truly want? You want to make a deal with the devil to kill someone? Yes. Yes, that's right. If you can, please do it for me. I see. Just a snap? Oh, it's done. I killed him. What? Is it that easy? What do you think would happen? If you can't, if you can't believe it, you should check the news tomorrow morning. Hmm. Miss Sibella, I did it. Yes, it's wonderful, Miss Noel. I'll confirm his death tomorrow. So, well, I could be the future pianist? Hey. G Don't forget to pay the cost. I'll take something from, not form, you. The cost of killing a president of a big corporation is like... Both your arms and legs. You'll survive if you get treatment right away. How do you like it? Is it the perfect payment? That woman must have tricked you into it. But it was pretty great that you were prepared to sacrifice your life for the desire. Oh dang, it even shows in the character arc. Hmm? Hey, Sibylia Becker. I don't think this girl understands what just happened to her. I think that's your imagination, Mr. Karn. Still, I would ask you, just in case, does she know she has to pay a cost when she makes a deal with the devil? 
All I did was introduce her to a devil. How could you, woman? Do you think you can get away with such a lousy excuse? I'm asking you if she knew that she was risking her life, yet still chose her frivolous and silly wish or not. If you treat this little girl without explaining the rules... Please calm down, I'm just telling you the fact. Miss Noel and Miss Connor successfully made a deal. Or, you two successfully made a deal. You made her wish come true and made her pay for it. There's nothing irregular about this contract. I'll decide who I'm going to make a deal with according to my policy. You think I don't know that you and Russell are exploiting contracts with devils? Don't summon me whenever you feel like it. Please talk directly to the mayor if you have something to say about him. Uh, oh? Please... Help me. Oh, I'm very sorry. I thought you were already dead. You must be in pain. Oh, and you're suffering right now. Why this is... What happened to me? Farewell, Miss Noel. No, stop. Help. Oh. Dang. Evil son of the is over here. Well, thank you for coming, Mr. Karn. I may summon you again sometime soon, so you and Russell. Don't underestimate devils. You'll get hurt one day. Thank you for your for the advice. Close enough. Well That was lovely. Me. I don't want to die. I don't want to suffer. Mr. Well, you're a murderer who made a deal with the devil. You had it coming. There were consequences for what you did. I want to be the future pianist. You told me the president of Stella Stage is a horrible person. Oh, how wonderful. You wish to murder someone for such a lame reason. However, the cost of a murder is your arms and legs. No one told me I would have to pay such a cost. You killed someone. Do you think it's forgivable? You're such a selfish person. No, well... That's... That's weird breathing. You want to be the future pianist that bad? Will you kill me next time to be the future pianist? I don't do such things. I just want to be saved. I want to be in pain. Help. Help me. Someone. Hmm? Panting. Panting. It's... It's a dream? Oh, no. Where am I? What happened to me? Anyway, I should get up. My arms are gone. Well, yeah. Why? Ah, uh, now I remember. I remember making a deal with a devil in an abandoned building, just as it always goes. And my arms and legs. Uh, but these... these legs... I somehow have legs again, but this feels so... wired. I guess you mean weird, but... I don't know, it could be that. Oh my god, they're artificial? Why? Come to think of it, my dress is also clean. You're wearing a different dress. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I have to first figure out why I'm in such a strange place. Good luck opening doors on that one. The blanket is very dusty. Maybe no one has used it for a while. This game is really weird so far. I mean, basically, I already knew it was some kind of like revenge story. So I guess the story of this is that you're trying to get revenge on both the mayor and his secretary because they tricked her into summoning the devil and then made her pay the price for it when she didn't deserve to do it in the first place. Great. Dirty bed. Once I lay down, it's going to be much harder to get up with no arms. Oh. Oh, ouch. <laughs> exactly. That has to be some tricks to walk properly with these legs. Oh, no. Wait a minute. How do I get up? Use your torso. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> I managed to stand up. Every time I fall down, do I have to put this much effort using a wall on my body to stand? Well, you can do that too, yeah. Then again, if you don't have upper body strength, then it will be hard to lift up just your body. Like, you know, your torso. And, like, maneuver your knees. Or you could just, yeah, maneuver your knees and then just lift up with your knees. Stand up on one leg, stand up with the other leg. There you go. Mm hmm. This is my deal. The kitchen hasn't been used for a while. A fridge. It looks like it's working, but it's impossible to open. Well, yeah. Soil is dried up. Now, what is that? OK. 
Okay. Uh, all I could do is walk slowly and try not to fall. By the way, after that, what happened to me? I'm not even sure where, I, where I'm... But I'm still alive after I was thrown into the sea, and now I have these artificial legs. That means someone saved me? But who and how? A locker, but there's no way to see what's inside. Are you sure about that? There's holes at the top. Probably not tall enough. An old piano. Noelle wanted to hear the sound. She reached for the piano without thinking, but then realized she can't touch it. Oh man, that is messed up. Someone who goes crazy for someone who is a very talented pianist and all that. She doesn't have the arms to even play the piano anymore. This is a weird looking place. I'm not familiar with this area. North Slums, current location, Residence Hilltop Square, South Slums, Gremlin Shop. Okay, do nothing about that. Who are you? He is suspiciously staring at me. He doesn't look friendly enough to talk to. She is suspiciously staring at me. She doesn't look friendly enough to talk to. Oh no, no one looks decent. I'm tired from walking around with artificial legs. Maybe it's better to go back. Okay, so what do I do about it? Oh! Karen? Welcome back, you're up. You are... Calm down now. A great devil doesn't attack humans without a good reason. I remember, you took my arms and legs. How dare you? I guess that's a natural reaction. Well, that's alright, because you didn't know all the details. However, it's no one's fault you ended up like that. It's definitely your own stupidity. What? You owe me some explanation. Where am I and what happened after that? Okay, okay, stop getting so worked up or stitches will open. I'll tell you everything, so just calm down. You're not going to lose anything else. There's no reason to rush. 